Hey guys, my name is Phantom, back with another video. Today, we're playing some more Fallout. Um, if I could find it in my little game section. There it is. Okay. Now, I will admit, Fallout has been a bit tough for me. And these videos have been coming out less and less consistent lately because of it. And I don't want to blame it completely on the game, but... It is a really hard game to play. Um, it's just, it's hard for me as a gamer to personally feel very invested in a game like this when I can't even go through the game without looking at a guide half the time. Because I could have attempted this on my own, but just by how much there was, how much you could talk to certain people, how much you could go here, you could go there... I, I legitimately don't think I could have pulled this off on my own. But I will give a big shout out to... I'll pull them up in a moment because these guys have been carrying this entire series. I think it's the... Hold on. Fallout. Let's just search up what we're going to try and do today. How to get power armor. Because that is my very next step in this. Fallout 1, specifically. I know how to get Fallout 4 power armor pretty easily. Um, hmm. Shout out to Fallout Wiki. That's what it's called. The Fallout Wiki. I have been using that the entire time. Literally. The entire time. And, um... I'm just going to immediately put this on my character because I need it. I literally need it. Why is it going through a whole description of how to do this? Okay. Rescuing an initiate, which requires 16 reputation. What's my reputation? My rep, my rep, my reputation, my reputation. I don't know what my reputation is. I don't know what it is. Like, huh? Be in my pit boy status. Up with water pump. Brotherhood. Become an initiate. Yeah, I don't think I know how to check that. Um, reputation, hit points, normal laser plasma, first aid kit, damage, weight. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I know a way to look at that. Reputation, reputation, nope. Okay. But it did say that I had to go to a floor where they were working on power armor. So. Let's do that. Maybe it was the third floor. While that goes, I'm going to make sure to. Look through this. Okay, it looks like this is the room. Okay, so either by rescuing someone with Talus, I should just list everything first. Okay, let's open up that. I think we have to talk to him. Okay, ah, so you're the one, huh? What? I think it's just that no one has ever made it back from the ancient order what do you do here what then why did they send you down there huh i guess they was just trying to get rid of you huh well the joke's on them yeah so what do you do here i fix stuff run maintenance checks that sort of crap what kind of stuff power armor and anything else i need fixing how can i get my hands on some power armor i'd give you this power armor right here but it's missing its systolic motivator it's useless without it where could someone get one of those well, they've got more than enough up in the supply room, but Michael and his damn form say that this particular suit isn't up to specs. Damn bureaucrats. What do you mean not up to specs? You see this eyepiece right here? I had to re-soldier it in place, and it don't look as pretty as it needs to for inspection, I guess. Right, you cystic, would you fix it for me? Whoa, wait a minute there, fella. That would take a good couple hours. I'd loan you a manual and my tools, but you'd have to repair it yourself. Besides Michael, where else could I get one? 
Uh, well, Rhombus has a couple of them. I wouldn't ask him for one, though. Only the Honored are supposed to wear these sheer power suits. Besides, I think he has an unnatural attachment to them. Hmm. Okay, thanks a lot. Okay. Well, here's the thing. I'm gonna get one regardless. Alright, I'm gonna get one. Regardless. So what did he just say? Fallout 1. Assistilic Motivator. Steal it from Rhombus. Okay, this time I'm looking at game facts. This game is so complicated. <laughs> Uh, 15 years ago. Holy shit. Man, level 3 in the back for it. He'll tell you several ways to get one. Steal it from Rhombus. Go to the first floor. Rhombus is in the first room just below you after you enter. So it says go to the first floor. Um. What's in the first room? Come on now. Move. Of course, I gotta open the door. You see, it's like the little things like that that just annoy me so much, dude. There's also another thing that's very annoying is that because I had to look at these guides, now I don't feel like playing it in any other way because I know the entire spoilers of this game. That's how bad it's gotten. I know the entirety of what's going to happen. I may not know the big story moments, but I do know pretty much the main thing okay motivator sense the left locker come back you must do two things sense the left locker and away from the store this is critical use the pit boy to wait until it is midnight you can wait through the pit boy I didn't know that. I'm gonna make it rest for an hour then. I didn't know that. How was I supposed to know that's a goddamn. Alright, you gotta argue with it. And don't move. Okay, this guy also says that, uh. I'm gonna need a skill point of at least 40 for uh, repairing. So let's just get this to 41 then. Uh, 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 done. Okay. Um. Look, dude. I'ma just have to figure this out. I'm looking for a rhombus in here. Who's rhombus? See a brotherhood guard. Brotherhood Guard. Paladin. Brotherhood Guard. Look bad. Brotherhood Guard. Brotherhood Guard. Brotherhood Guard. That. Brotherhood Guard. This. This guy. Talus. Well, he's the one who might send me on a mission. Senior Paladin. Senior Paladin. Senior Paladin. Senior Paladin. Senior Scribe. About this guy. Michael. On Michael, it also says something about being able to get it from one of these lockers. What if I talk to this guy real quick while I look at this? Here, everything. I'm waiting for that door to close now. This is something about one of the lockers having it somewhere in this building. Oh, I feel like it's this one. Hold on, y'all see this? Come on, all hidden back here. There's quite a few. Yeah, there's quite, there is quite a few lockers, so I don't know. I need this guy is rhombus. Help you. Ask, uh, can I ask you a few questions? You tell me about the surrounding area. Okay, tanks. What if I just stay out of my quarters? Right. Explain yourself, initiate. 
Anything, anything? I'm new here, and I don't know my way around. I didn't know this was here. Why, initiate? This is how we deal with thieves. Oh, y'all just kicked me out. <laughs> Wait, is that a joke? I think that's a joke to the Fallout show. Speaking of which, there's a whole bunch of lockers in here. Let's just say it's in it's not in one of these. Oh well, time to find out. Look, I know my playthrough of this game is kinda scuffed. I'm not gonna sit here and act like it's the best playthrough of this game out there. Because it's definitely not. But I am definitely trying, okay? This game just like even in editing, dude, I just be like looking at this like, oh god, let it let it end. Cause golly, I just don't think this is a good Fallout game. All right, I think the atmosphere is there. The atmosphere, even some of the characters are really there. But outside from that, no, it just isn't my thing, dude. The gameplay just feels very stiff. Um, a lot of the story moments aren't really exciting either. Okay, now that I know where Rhombus is, I could probably, because he probably has it. That's my thought process. And if he has it, I could probably distract him in some sort of way so that I could steal it from him, right? Come on, this is D&D. Please give me the option to do all that. It's also 2 in the morning right now, so, uh, yeah. I'm about to get to my last bit of energy real quick. Talk to you, sir. Ah, oh, sir, you're the one. What? What do you do here? What kind of stuff? I can't get my hands. What are those? I mean, not up to specs. I brought you... No. Yeah, besides Michael, where else could I get one? Thanks a lot. Okay. Now that he's told me about it, we're going to walk up and I'm going to save, okay? Because I'm a goddamn genius. I'm a save scum. Leave the room, open the door, go to the locker in combat, hold A, locker, take motivator, leave. Apparently this... Apparently somebody's saying it's essential you get two of power armor so that you could sell one and then use the other. Shit. Look, my playthrough of this game is not going to be that long. Look, I'm going to be honest to y'all. If this game doesn't end in like the next five hours, I'm done. Okay, I know who Rhombus is. I don't know why I'm going all the way around. Save the game. Done. Done. How do y'all think we can approach this? We cannot get there. Is it because I'm not allowed to sneak? not open okay I figured okay, now that I'm sneaking all right explain yourself please okay, I had to know my way around then leave and I will forget this little incident thank you bye Ah, fuck. Hmm. Set it up. What is the best way to approach this? Let's talk to him. Help you. I don't really have much of a fighter. Insolent pup. Apologize now, and you'll not be hurt. What you about you? Grace to the Brotherhood. Am 
I did. <laughs> the dark. Right, 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 right. The game was smart by kicking me out. But I think I could be just a little bit smarter. Let me talk to this fucker wad over here. Give me directions to the hub. Draw your best weapon next time we go into battle. Key formation. What weapons are you skilled with? I need this information. Ants, keep them on your body. Stay close. Um, I'm looking at my room. It's safe inside of the room. So let's just go right here. Right. Okay, now we're going to sneak. He looks unhurt. Skill book, lockpick. I mean, not lockpick. I'm a dumbass. I'm going to steal from him. Steal the minigun. Hold on. I could steal the whole ass minigun from him. And he didn't even catch me. I should have just left it at that. I don't even know why I kept going. Motherfucker. Negative. How is that negative 50? The power armor. Yeah, I just end it. Just end it. I'm hitting escape. Just end it. Just end it. Just end it. Just end it. I know. I know. Every single person is going to take a turn now. Go right ahead, y'all. I'll just pull up my my guide. First floor, Rhombus is the first one to explore. You enter. The room has two parts, and the second part is a locker. He will be standing in that room in the back next to his bed. If he is back by the bed, then enter the first room. Otherwise, he's a pit boy to wait until morning. This should make him go back there. For those who do not know how to use the pit boy, click on the pit icon on the right. Yep. Now go stand against the second door. Do not enter the second room. Click the door to open it and then run to the right. Still in the first room by about four steps. Rhombus will say who is there and start walking your way. The door will close, Rhombus will reopen it and step into the first room. This is your chance. When he opens the door, click to move your character into the next room over by the locker. You will run right by him and he won't sneak see you. You do not have to use a sneak skill at all during this mission, period. Load game. So, it says, wait until morning, first thing. So, good morning. Apparently when it's morning time, he's going to be in a whole different room that I, that I get lied to, that I get, that I get, okay. Go stand, hold on, different moments, go to the first floor, his room has two parts, and the second part is a locker. He will be standing in that room in the back next to his bed. If he is back by the bed, then enter the first room. Otherwise, he's a put boy to wait until morning. This should make him go back there. I have to maybe be outside the room. Because or else he'll be like, oh, what the hell are these guys doing in my room? Type shit. I could respect that. Alright, until morning again. Sorry, guys. And then close. Yeah, I don't think that guy moves. Um, I got a different idea. How about I make him? I want to see midnight. Cause if we do midnight, I doubt he's gonna be in there. Mm 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 mm. Okay guys, okay guys. So, this is where we save again. 
Right, 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 row. Uh, done. Apparently, he wants us to open it. Then to run to the right. And I'm gonna personally sneak. And he's apparently gonna step out here. And all I have to do is click on the thing. And we'll be inside, and he won't be. Sir, are you moving, sir? About to open the guide again. Okay, now go stand against the second. Do not enter the second room. Click the door to open it, and then run to the right. Still in the first room by about four steps. Ramos will stay and start walking towards you. The door will close. Ramos will reopen it and step into the first room. Okay. So I'm opening it again. The guide says about four steps. It says he'll reopen the door. But he doesn't seem to do that. They fix it in a patch. I mean, this thing is from 15 years ago. Ah. Uh. Is he like purposefully like Ian you might have to go bruh you might be the number one fumbler Hold on, I got an idea how would I open it as he's walking back like I know it's a bit of a long shot but maybe his coding just isn't meant for it We get a small amount of room there, but I think we could do it. Let's sneak, open the door. Let's do it again. Get out my way, Ian. And then I'm just gonna walk in the exact moment, the exact moment he leaves, bro. I'm walking in. Like, I'm gonna keep opening this puppy. Why does it automatically close so quickly? Come on. Walk away, sir. Respectfully, this is not your mission, sir. My dumbass. All right. Explain yourself, initiate. Then leave, and I will forget the. Thank you. Bye. So you are a thief. I will. Sh okay. I think they patched it. Sadly for us, um, this will reopen it to the first room. Hold on, let me make sure. The pit screen and the yellow colored bell at the top of your screen is built in. I go stand against the second door. Not enter the second room. Click the door to open it and then run to the right, still in the first room by about four steps. Rhombus will say who is there and start walking your way. The door will close. Rhombus will reopen it and step into the first room. This is your chance. When he opens the door, click to move your character into the next room over by the locker. You, you will run right by him and he won't see you. You don't even need to use a sneak skill. He's not doing that. I like a way to keep this completely open. Fuck. 
then leave, and I will. Literally instantly closed. Dude, this is a game like Baldur's Gate. I'd literally have one person distracting, one person doing the other. Don't even make sure I'm sneaking. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if the grace of God just let me get that motivator chip. Please, 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 please. please. As a matter of fact, I'm saving the game. Hold on, I'm gonna save it right here because I don't know if I trust it or not. So I'm gonna save it right here just in case. Cause he like the exact instant he moves, he might just straight up kick me. Out, like he might just straight up kick me out of the brotherhood. I am not in here, sir. Neither is my companion that is standing right next to me. All, all right, sir. There's there's nobody in your room. Not a single soul. Oh my god. Why the fuck would you do that? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> yes. 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 Holy shit. I needed that. I'm about to fucking nut. Oh my god. Sorry. Sorry. Um. <laughs> I'm just really happy. <laughs> that was... That was something, dude. By the graces of this being an old-ass video game, I got saved. That's just straight up the truth. Is my fan on? Oh, I am so sorry. That audio probably sounded so horrible this entire time. Because my dumbass kept the fan on. Um... Hey, sir, so what if I got myself a little something, you know? Yes, save again. Let me make sure that my character sheet built it up. You see, that would have been a big old no-no. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. I'm going to make it 41, because according to the guide, that's the exact number where it could become possible. Okay. Oh, were you able to get that part? Yes, here it is. Great, here, let me just install it into the unit. More. Yeah, and okay, you're all set to go. Here's a manual. If you have any kind of aptitude for repairing things, you should have no problem. Good luck. And then apparently, I should be saving right here. And let's try it. See power armor parts. Oh. Skill book, um, repair. You fail to repair the power. Okay, so apparently it's easiest the first time. So I should basically just keep clicking on this. And in 500 experience. Can I pick up that item? Can I just like automatically equip it? Okay. Because even with my maximum Kate Wary, total weight 58. Power armor is way more than that, ain't it? Sign him your maximum. Uh, 
They don't want to talk to me no more. Can I talk? I need to change. So I can't ask him to just straight up like... A self-contained suit of advanced technology armor powered by a microfusion reactor with enough fuel to last a hundred of years. Yeah, I wish that was true about like the Fallout 4 power armors. Let me make sure I could pick up all that stuff back up. Okay, I can. So I'm just gonna drop everything. I know, I know. Could be dangerous. Potentially doing that, but that's why we have multiple saves. You know? That is why we have multiple saves. And after this, all I need is an OP weapon and I believe I can make it past the fucking crazy shit of what's coming. Okay. Go to wait 13. Okay, I should be able to. Inventory. <laughs> uh. Let me pick up all my shit. Cause that was a very dangerous game I just played. But maybe a well worth it one in the end. Because I might have everything back. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh. He's like I can't I can't I can't carry that one again. Ah shit. Huh? Well, did I get most of everything? My fucking caps. Speaking of which, let me just drop that. I don't even need that no more. Pick up whatever that is now. I at least need my caps back. Fuck. I lost my caps. Ah, fuck. And I can't even, like... Doesn't even want to pick up this shit back up. So I'm gonna assume maybe... See, yellow pass key. Drop that shit. Actually, I'm gonna drop all this because I don't even need all this. My bad. All. I'm gonna drop the knife too because I'm probably not gonna need that. Pair tool kit, I might. What is this? A radio? I might. Got rid of weight, still doesn't want to carry it all. I think I lost my caps because of that choice. And then pistol. More 10 m ammo. I can't pick up the 10 m ammo or this stim pack supposedly. I think my game is glitched. But you know what? Do I really need... I might regret saying this, but... Do I really need caps? Let's find out. No caps. Done. That's my save too now. To see if no caps can carry me. Okay. Now, we just need to do one more thing. And that is to successfully take the minigun from Rhombus. 
Technically for many night member, but Rhombus specifically, cause fuck Rhombus. Rhombus is a little bitch. Little fucking twat, yeah. Um I'm just gonna go right here. And to be honest, save again. Yep, save too. No caps. Done. Okay. Um this time my bad. Wrong thing. Good boy. Look, we're making good progress, okay? I believe that all we need right now is to get some good ass shit, like a weapon, and we can beat the game. Because apparently we're trying to beat like a monster or something. I don't fucking know. Does Rombus mind that we're just casually in like a full set of power armor? I'll just tell him I got promoted. Matter of fact, let me save that just in case. Ask you a few questions. Okay, thanks. Dumbass. Okay, save game. No caps. Yes. Done. Okay, because I already made my decision. Nobody decided to, you know, check if I was a fucking little bitch and a pansy. Deal. Okay, I need both of these two to be successful at this. The minigun. Steal the minigun. Now this. All of this. Done. <laughs> okay, final thing. Final thing, just get through the doors. Let's get through the doors. No way. No way. No way. No way, 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 no way. No way. No way, dude. No way, dude. I did that shit. I did that shit. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that shit. I did that shit, y'all. Oh my god. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, bro. They gonna fucking kill me. <laughs> oh my lord. We're heading straight to Wall 13. Loki, I wanna get into some action. Pause. Pause, bro. Fuck. But Loki, I do wanna get into some action. I'm about to hit Vault 13. Make sure that I talk to the doc. Make sure that my health is all good and shit, you know? Make sure I'm good. But it seems like ever since I got a suit of power armor, nobody wanna mess with me. The game can jinx me if they want, but we made it all the way to Vault 13, no problems. That is crazy. Let's go to the entrance. Not some of these places before. Yep. I'm just here to talk to the doc. Okay, let's go talk to the doc. Heard what you did saving the vault. Thank you. I need help. <laughs> you seem okay to me. Come back if you need some healing. Okay, so he. If he thinks I'm okay, then I'm gonna try. This might go horribly wrong. But I'm gonna try to unironically. Hold on. I'm gonna make sure I have the right weapons equipped. Gonna be a pistol and a and a minigun. Make sure to do that. Now, okay, I was kind of hoping I ran into a rat, but if I don't, I don't mind because I'd rather not use my fucking minigun on a rat. But I do need to know if my character has enough strength to wield it now, or if they're gonna need even more. Right now, we gotta start making it over to the mutant leader which that's kind of the spoiler that i got i know who the mutant leader is i don't necessarily know his story though not gonna lie oh my girlfriend just texted me let's see what she's talking about my girlfriend just told me that she is okay i forgot i sent that message 
Oh, but she is sick. Which is sad. Okay, 95%. Mm. Mm. I just realized I took no damage from that thing hitting me twice, right? Holy shit, we're gonna be a monster. Holy shit, we're gonna be a monster, dude. Oh my god. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. I've been poisoned. Okay. You know what? It doesn't even matter. Let's just keep going. And message my girlfriend. I'm sorry. You're feeling that way. Can make you a hot bath if you come over. And then I'm gonna send her a yellow hot and then pink hots and then purple hots. Is this a traitor? What's going on, my guy? Again, yeah, can you uh, give me some directions? Um, doesn't seem like he's wanting to talk about the shit that I want to talk about. See, Patrick the Celt? That's his name? I'm dumb as hell. Okay. I need to hit the Mariposa? Is that what it's called? Mariposa military base? Which I believe is Butterfly. Yeah, that's Butterfly. Butterfly in Spanish? I don't know why I'm saying I believe that's Butterfly in Spanish as if I was like some sort of fucking like white dude right now. Like, yeah, I should, I should fucking know. The fucking Hispanic. Oh, wait, I got a critical hit on that bitch. Crit hit. Mm. Bop. Done. Just one mag. Got me lobster. Hmm. Damn, it's already dead. Did I get two crit hits back to back? Yeah, I would be reading the thing more in the bottom left, like right here. But, like, it's so tiny to look at. Like, I could tell that this game was not meant for 1440p. <laughs> I mean, shit. I don't think it was even meant for 1080p, but here I am. Making the worst life decisions in the world. God damn it, I just keep running into stuff now. I was just talking about how I wasn't, and now I am. Dude, every single thing either misses or, like hit for no damage like are you kidding me you know how op that is okay let's see 65 percent okay that's all i needed to know i just need to know if i could hit shots i'm not gonna test out the ammo because i need it for the other thing because i have to go into a whole goddamn base bro did you just run out of 10 ammo bro you're gonna have to go home if you're not gonna die. Unless if you want to die for the final mission, which I don't think you want to. I don't know, I didn't. It said he reloaded it. So I guess he just hit him because that's how much, like, he could do for the rest of his stamina, maybe. Super mutants. This is low-key the group of people that we have to try these things on. This is literally the type of people that we need to try these things on. 39%. He's standing right in front of me. 49. I'll, I'll take it. If it hits... 22 points. Mm. And I do know that my punches are probably super OP now. I'm gonna step away then. I can't do anything else. But if we defeat these guys, we're literally going to cook them. Like, they're... Can we lose this, basically, is what I'm asking. Does he have a fucking minigun, too? Oh, my God. Was that Ian? Hell no, I'm not using that gun. They just killed my fucking boy. 9%. I'm cooked, ain't I? 
Did you just eat that? Did you just ate that? How much am I getting? I'm getting hit for no damage. Are you serious right now? You were hit for no damage. Oh my god. Hit for 14 points. Right, 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 right. Look at that. Look at that. Hit for no damage. You're here for 24. Okay, so it does seem like there is something that could fucking pain me. And it seems to be fire. But now that this guy, this fuckwad, is about to give it to me, I'm fucking good. Stim pack. Matter of fact, if I can hit him, if I could hit him, I would have. Keep hitting me with that shit. I keep getting hit for no damage. It's really just you I gotta worry about. Out of ammo for the minigun. <laughs> Dumbass bitches. Hmm. I gotta step closer. Do I gotta reload? Oh my lord, that's embarrassing. I'm assuming without even knowing, but I have a feeling. I'm at least walking up to you. I'm not missing my shot because of this shit. That means I got a karate hit your ass. I missed. You're hit for no damage. Okay. This dude might kill me because of the... What's it called? The flamethrower. Let's hope he can fucking handle this. <clears throat> he handled it. Um, oh, he handled it. Oh, shit. Maybe he might not handle- Yeah, bow! He I missed. It's all over, but the- When was the last time I saved? Please. Please don't do this to me. Please, when was the last time I saved? Mm. Oh, fuck, I'm an idiot. This. This. All. Done. Fuck, 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 fuck. Load game. I know y'all probably hate me so much right now for not saving that entire fucking time. And all I gotta say is, I'm fucking sorry. That's low-key my bad. God damn it. Oh, fuck. You literally could not be a bigger idiot than me right now. I mean, there is one thing that makes me happy. At least Ian will be back alive for this next episode, which will probably be the finale episode. But, uh, done. Leave, 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 leave. Don't even look at the fact that you have no gun in your hand. <laughs> Fallout be letting you get away with the most Looney Tunes ass crimes, bro. <laughs> Just steal a gun straight from his hands. He doesn't even realize it. That's <laughs> so stupid. Okay. Gonna be saving right here. Here's my plan, okay? Here is my plan. Basically, I just want to get to Mediposa base by the end of this episode. So, we're gonna have to make it happen. Maybe I shouldn't go this way because I have a feeling we're gonna run into more issues this direction than we would have the other direction, but maybe I'm just dumb because we didn't run into shit. Matter of fact, I think we missed it. Cross a long dead traveler. Why did the game decide that was important enough for me to look at it? Fucking shit. Fucking rats. 
Man, ain't nobody care about yo. Fight about yo. You know what? I'm not even gonna say nothing. Y'all all do your thing. I gotta look at the next steps. My phone needs to charge. Oh god, I'm cooked. Um. Um. Let's just search up Fallout 1 Mariposa Base. That is quite literally what I'm searching up. Let's get out of here. I'm I'm pretty confident that we walked past it. So we're gonna have to go back. I don't know why this game is so insistent on making me feel pain. Maybe it's just teaching me a long, hard life lesson. As a matter of fact, keep hitting me. Because every time I get hit... I'm searching up the Mariposa base fucking map, bro. Where is it exactly? Where is Mariposa base? Because I'm fucking tired of him dying. I want Ian to make it to the end. If he dies on the last mission, I'll allow it. You know why? Because that's like a sacrifice. He at least gets a sacrifice while he goes out. But for quite literally anything else, no. He's either getting a hero's death or, he, or he's just going to die. <laughs> Mariposa military base. So, but are you kidding me? Oh wait, I was searching it up for Fallout 1, but uh, the Fallout 2 one came up and apparently Fallout 2 takes place over the mountain? The Fallout 2 takes place over here. That's weird. Okay. But the military base is about like... It's on the same level as Vault 13, that's for sure. I want to say, if we hit this sort of, like, corner, it just feels a lot better to get here. Okay, if we run into people here, I'm not too mad as long as he doesn't die. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to do everything for this dude not to die. The only one that has a gun is you. So you shoot at me, please. Dear Christ. Ian, don't die. You know, you can get knocked out. That's good. That's good. I don't know what the fuck that thing is. But, uh, just don't die. Just don't die. Of course he's gonna shoot at him. Oh. I'm not gonna let him die unless if it's the final mission. And my choice is final on that. It seems like it's 13 spots. I don't know exactly what the translation of that is. I'm not a fucking math mission. Mathematician. <laughs> yeah. I don't think anybody even thought so. Uh, okay. Let's go this way. Please. Dear Christ. Why does he have a minigun too? He just killed his homie. I feel like I could win this, actually. As long as they don't all have many guns, They all have many guns, And he's gonna get burned to death, isn't he? He's gonna get burned to death. If I can't make it out in 10 steps, he's cooked. Because right now, he's only alive by the pure fact that other people have been in his way. Holy shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me look at where Vault 13 is. It's up here. It's somewhere on this level. I'll say right there, exactly. Dead on. Dead on. Dead on. Dead on. I'm not dead on. Oh my god, it's right there. <sighs> this is gonna be a tough nut to crack. Yeah, well, I'm a tough nut kind of guy. What the fuck that meant? Um... 
That's it, though, from me. <laughs> Ugh. Please, dear Christ, let the next episode be the last episode. I don't care how many guides I have to look through. I swear to God, I just want this game to be over. Because I feel like I need something that could rejuvenate me. I need something that could make me happy. Maybe a little bit of sad. Maybe a lot of excitement. I just need something, bro. Because <laughs> Fallout 1 isn't hitting me with it. And Fallout 2 is not coming right after this. I'm just straight up going to be honest with y'all. It's probably going to be Persona 3 becomes a weekday game. So all five weekdays, Persona 3. Then on the weekends, we maybe get the Stardew vids. I don't know. I kind of want to make the Stardew vids edited. I know y'all may not care about that. By the way, if you're here only for the Fallout content, I'm not going to talk about Fallout content. I'm just here to talk about myself for a second because God damn, do I feel like I need to talk about myself for a second because this game does not make me happy in any way. At all. It's been a drag. I'm being completely honest. It's been a drag playing this. Now, of course, when I get to the future Fallouts, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have way much better of a time. Especially Fallout 3 because that was my childhood favorite. And now that I'm at an age where I only remember some story beats, I'm probably going to enjoy that game 30 times more than when I was a kid. Then there's New Vegas, and apparently a lot of people want to say that one has the best story. We'll see about that. I've never played it. I only got through about an hour. Um, Fallout 4 might get a playthrough, although I doubt that it might get a playthrough. There, there's like this big 50-50 in me, because Fallout 4, I've played it the most out of all the Fallouts. So I have the most experience with that one. But I will admit... That I, I've said this a few times in my Skyrim playthrough. I have not beaten most of the Bethesda games because I just get distracted. There's something to do here? Okay, I'll do it. I can do something there? I'll do it. I can do something here? Do it. Do something here? Do it. Do something there? Do it. I, I literally do that. Skyrim, I didn't complete until I played it on the channel. Fallout 4, haven't completed. Fallout 3... I thought I completed it, but apparently I didn't complete it. Then, New Vegas, haven't completed it, only got through about an hour. Then, we're gonna go to, what else is left? Oblivion, played it as a kid as well. That was also one of my childhood favorites, but never finished it, never beat it. Then I did start Morrowind. Now, in my defense, I just thought Morrowind was too old for me. I'm not going to sit here and be like, I enjoy every single old game there is. I don't. I like old games that somehow still stand up today. That's what I enjoy. And, um, I don't know. My favorite old game has got to be Mass Effect. And that's not even, like, ancient yet. It's, it's still pretty modern. I think it's 2007. <laughs> so... I will say that I'm not the biggest fan of old games, and it's probably why I'm struggling so much with Fallout here. It's just it's just more of a drag than it is a high for me. But I'm really hoping that once I get to Fallout 2 later at some point, probably after Persona 3, I could just be way more happier, inner calm, and I, I want to play more games like Persona or like the big action games because they just... They put more of a, I want to say a creative hit in my brain, or I guess just dopamine. I guess they just hit me with dopamine. Like GTA hit me with so much dopamine. It made me so happy revisiting it. Skyrim, same thing. Even Skyrim hit me with some pretty good dopamine, although at times it felt too long. And I couldn't understand most of the story because of the dialect. Um, it was still pretty fun. But this right here... Kill me, dude. Anyways, before I end up delaying this shit all the way to fucking one hour because I decided to be Yapper Central, I'd like to thank y'all for the support on this series. Thank you guys for watching this episode in specific as well. And uh, yeah, keep doing great things. You're good at them. Bye.